G'day legends, my name's Tom Scully, former professional cricketer and founder of Cricket Mentoring. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I think you should be using the bowling machine properly. Now this is qu quite a basic thing but it's a, it's a really common uh, error that I see people using or doing when they come to use a bowling machine and that is trying to face it too fast. They obviously, you want to challenge yourself, you want to use this great training aid to get better but when you try and you set it too fast your skill level and your, you make more errors, your skill level often really, really drops and you actually are doing yourselves a bit of a disservice. You actually don't get better and instead you, you create some bad habits. So whenever I'm using a bowling machine with my the players I work with and I'm, I'm really fortunate that I get to work with players from a young age right through to professional cricketers and international cricketers, I don't set it too fast. This is one part of training and anyone who uses a bowling machine all the time can also get into bad habits. So for me, when I'm working with my athletes, it's something we use every now and again. It's something we use when we're trying to grow and, and groove our technique. Obviously with the bowling machine, you know where the ball's gonna land, you can set it to land in a certain area. So that takes away the element of decision making. And in batting, decision making is such a crucial part of the game. If you, you need to be able to see the ball, make a decision and move to the position to play that ball, whether it's full or short, whether you want to attack or defend. So the bowling machine doesn't really train you in that. It takes away a lot of those decisions. So we want to use it as a technical training device. And for me, one of the biggest technical errors with players in batting is that they fall over and they're sort of too early on the ball. So by using the machine a bit slower, it actually teaches you to wait for the ball. It teaches you to hit the ball later, teaches you to hold in your stance and hold your position for longer before moving. And that is what we're trying to do. So I generally have it somewhere around 50 to 60, maybe 65 mile an hour. And I get my players to be able to really groove and grow their technique. Batting is about muscle memory, it's about volume. So we use it to hit hundreds of balls in a short space of time and work on a specific certain shot. But I see players, I'm coaching in one out, see players come in and use the machine, amateurs, and they turn it up to 70 or 80 mile an hour. And they're getting bowled every second ball, they're getting hit on the toe, they're getting hit in the pad, they're missing it, and they're not actually, it might be a bit of fun, it might get their adrenaline going, and I'm, I think that's okay for a short period of time, but I see people doing that for their whole session, and I really think it's a waste of time, it's a waste of energy, it's a waste of resources, normally you have to pay to use one of these things. So my advice, my suggestion be, slow it down a bit, and really get it where you want it to be, and focus on the, the body movements, the patterns and the positions you need to practice to start to master that shot. If you wanna get better at the cover drive, or the straight drive, or the cut shot, Set it up there and don't have it on too fast because you make more mistakes and you won't actually learn it. It's, it's a really, really common thing. Use this the way it's meant to be used and grow and groove your technique so you can become the best player you can be.